two shooters in the set this morning. A big 11 point and an even bigger, more dominant 10 point. I'm going for the 10 point. He's old and wise. He did not like the little sound I made when I drew. I stayed at full draw for a while hoping for him to come out, but he didn't. And when I let down, that doe started getting alert. Stomp in the ground. I use the sound of the moving deer to draw. The 10 point comes into the feeder and pushes the 11 point out. I'm hoping to get a shot once the big 10 point comes out of the feeder. but he doesn't give me a shot. As soon as I let down, that doe becomes alert again. If it wasn't enough, some coyotes were going off earlier and now they were coming through and they spooked the deer. I'm thinking this is gonna be it, but I just gotta be really slow and draw my bow. Oh man, he hears it again. He doesn't like it and he walks away. I'm like, ah, oh, this deer. How can he hear such a minor sound out of my bow every time? So he comes back, but the doe are there, very alert. Every move I make, that doe stomps the ground and looks up. I'm thinking, I need to draw before he comes out. So I'm set up by the time he gives me an opportunity. Nope, the does are not having it. And look at the 11 point big deer at the feeder, like nothing has happened. He's becoming more and more attractive to me now that I'm having such a hard time with this big 10. And at this point, I'm like, look, I'm going to stay at full draw and wait for him to come back and give me a shot. That way, I don't have to redraw and spook anything. But that doe is still very alert. And man, holding a 76-pound bow for that long, this one was almost a minute and a half. It takes a toll on you. So, And right there, he's a little far. He's probably like 30 yards. But something alerts them. And as I lower to try to rest, all the deer are looking that way, and guess what? Apparently hogs are coming through, and they spooked a deer again. Ah, I'm like, what is going on, man? Can't really get a shot on this deer so hard. And the 11 point still eating at the feeder like nothing. I could have taken a shot on that guy probably 30 times by now. He comes on the right hand side and I try to draw ahead of time so I'm ready when he pops out. Again, the doe doesn't like it. Even the 11 point on the left hand is looking at me. He's right about 25 yards. I missed. 
Oh man, my heart sunk. I shot over him. Oh my God, dude. Trying to figure out what happened. I guess I was trying to shoot him at 25 yards, mid-body. But he certainly jumped the stream. I guess the shot was still a little bit high anyway. I was aiming right at the red dot, but it was a little too high. But I'm shooting from a 22-foot tree stand, so I'm thinking that's that should be okay. And when I shoot, he ducks that far. Man, I just scraped over his back. I couldn't believe it. That was a quick reaction, man. Oh, I'm torn. This sucks, man. After a long morning and five draws, and guess what? He comes back. And I can see on the top of his back the white scrape. He's relaxed, but he doesn't come back into the feeder. And look who's on the, on the bottom right-hand corner of that screen like nothing has happened. The 11 point. But it's time to go back to camp and lick my wounds. So I come back for the afternoon hunt, hoping to see that big 10. And this younger deer on the right hand side comes in. And then the 11 point comes in. I'm thinking they're gonna come in and settle and um, maybe the big 10 point is gonna come out and hopefully I get a shot opportunity. They never actually settle. And this is the reason why them hogs came in. A bunch of little ones with a mama sow, the gray one. She smelled something, didn't like it. Man, the feeder goes off. And I take the opportunity to swap arrows to shoot the hog. Mama Sal comes back. And now I got the right arrow. She's still smelling stuff. She's not liking it 100%. I'm gonna take the first opportunity to shoot her. Hoping that the pig will go away after I shoot her and the deer will come in. was a bad shot I could tell right away it was high and back I wanted to shoot her because she was the one that was trained to the smell the little ones didn't care man they came back like nothing and they kept eating I was hoping they would all go away with that shot they stayed around and ate for hours the deer were trying to come in but the hogs wouldn't let them till eventually they left. The deer settled back in. And the 11 point is now my target. I try to grab the bow and the deer on the left is very alert looking at me. Eventually the doe start messing around. He moves, and now I don't have a shot opportunity. He dances around, pushes deer out, gets back into the feeder. I'm thinking I may have an opportunity here, but the feeder legs are right across his vitals. And any time he moved a little forward, a little back, there were deer around or behind. Man, it's getting dark and I decide to draw. But the deer on the bottom right, he's also alert.
something happens, they move, and he comes out, and this is it. It's now or never. Heck yeah! Smoked him! Whew. I'm shaking, man. Oh, thank you, Lord. What a hunt. I saw him drop 30 yards from the feeder. What a hunt. Heck yes. The Mafia scores. Right on the Palm Station. I wonder why I didn't go far. What a beautiful Red River Buck, man, 11 points. Big body deer. Beautiful night. 190 pounds, man. What a monster. What a night to celebrate with Manano and Don Rowe. The Mafia scores. <laughs>